Adobe Express offers us many project opportunities, such as pre-made templates, videos, GIF creation, audio, we can even remove backgrounds, resize images, or trim videos. To create a new project, choose the plus button and select the project you would like to create. Express will do a nice job of walking you through the creation process. So the first thing it wants to know is, what is this project about? I give it a title, and since I chose videos, it's gonna give me some different options of types of videos and templates that it has. I'm gonna choose Teach a Lesson. Select Pick This One, and it loads up the video for me. Once my video has loaded, you can see that I have lots of prompts already included in my project in my template here, so that I can create the best version of my project. To get started, select something that you would like to input. You can change the layout, such as move from full screen to a split screen. Here I can add a picture, and I can either upload my own picture or select a pre-made picture. Let's select these trees here. And I can change the styling of this particular page. For example, I can add some text, so I choose the plus button and select text, and this is what I want on this side. So here are some trees. Now, I can change the text by making it smaller or larger, or I can delete it entirely. I also have the opportunity to switch these two so that my text is on the right-hand side versus the left-hand side. And I can record a prompt, something that I want to be dubbed over this particular video. If I want to remove the narration, I simply select the icon in the bottom right corner and choose Remove Narration. Or I can add some comments, selecting the comment bubble on the left. When I select my next page, I can choose a new template. So let's look at this full screen. And it prompts me already to either add a video that will upload from my computer, as you see here, or a photo. So I'm going to choose a photo and let's add another picture. How about this owl right here? So you can see the first thing Express does is make everything full screen because that's the template that I chose for this page. But I want my picture to be smaller. So I choose the edit icon in the top right hand corner of this picture and make this the right size for me. Now I have my picture exactly how I want it. Let's go ahead and add some text. So I choose the plus button and begin typing. Here is an owl. The next layout option that I want to choose is a background with a caption. So the first thing it prompts me for is either a video, an icon, or a photo. And I'm going to choose this photo, and you can see here now it's asking for the plus button to add a caption, just like it shows off to the right here. So let's call this More Birds. Now I have an option to record an audio track that I want to put on top of this, or I can select anywhere else just to lock in all of my edits. Since this is just a picture of two birds, I may want to make this picture go a little bit longer. So in the same place that I removed narration, I can select the time that I want this slide to play and then use the sliding scale to choose the right amount of time. The final layout template is the title and text. So I select the next slide and let's add a title. This is my project and some subtext underneath here. I hope you like it. Okay, so now I have my project put together. I have a couple other options that Express will offer me, such as choosing the theme. In the top right hand corner here, I have theme right next to my layout options, and I can choose any of the pre-made themes that Express has to offer. I also have color choices here, so I can choose what color theme that I want to go along with my transitions. And any of them that I select, you can see it will automatically update my project in real time so I can see what this looks like before I publish it. So let's go down and choose Noir and find the right colors. Yeah, I like the blue. Okay, now I have an option to resize. If I want this to be square, maybe for a social media publication, I can do that. And then next to music, I can upload my own music or I can choose from any of the pre-made choices that are included into Express. I simply select the choice that I want and then choose the right volume. One of the final options of Express that we haven't looked at yet is adding an icon. So these are pre-made icons that I can add 
right here using the plus button as I did for all of my other photos or videos. And when I find the correct icon, I add it to my project. I also have the option to delete slides by choosing the ellipses in the top right hand corner, or I can grab any one of the slides and drag them to the appropriate place in my presentation. Now I preview my presentation and we're good to go.